My name is Nicole Cardinal. I'm from Saddle Lake First Nation. I'm a fourth year medical student here at the University of Alberta. I live in Edmonton and I do plan to go back to my reserve, ideally. It probably stemmed from my love of science in general. I just liked science since I was little and I was good at it. Um, as I got older, you know, you're, what you're learning is more broad and you can actually explore different subjects and I really like health, nutrition and wanted to explore that a little bit more. Uh, well, I first started out in the Bachelor of General Studies because where I was going to school didn't have the program I wanted to, so I started off with that, just taking a broad range of subjects so, and just wanted to get a start on university, so that was where I started. Then I transferred to Concordia University College of Alberta, which I entered the Bachelor of Science program there. And while I was there, I majored in biology. So when I was close to graduating, um, I kind of had to figure out what I was going to do next because there's not much you can do with a science degree, right? Just through searching the internet and seeing what other faculties were there at the University of Alberta because I was thinking of transferring, um, I came across the Aboriginal Healthcare Careers Program and it was through there that I seen that they had spots saved for Aboriginal applicants and that I was just researching it, noticed that I had all the requirements for my degree. The University of Alberta has the TIPS program. I mean, if you don't meet the requirements to get into a program, then they'll help you get started. You enter through there, do the main courses, and then apply to a program afterwards. Just from going through all the different rotations, I really thought about what I liked about each of them, what I didn't like, um, what really spoke to me that I want to do, and that's how I kind of came up with the Real Family. What it is, is you have your family medicine clinic, so you'll be seeing your patients who need checkups, baby checkups, immunizations, um, prescriptions, people who just come in with common colds or want some treatment for their blood pressure, diabetes. So I'll be doing all of that in my own clinic. And I would like to do some ER on the side at a smaller hospital. So there I would be doing more acute care stuff. So like stitchings, castings. So I really like the procedural aspect of it. And I think it would be, be a good mixture for me where you have your everyday to day stuff and yet you have the stuff that you don't know what's going to come through the door. When I look back at myself, uh, I still see myself as that little Aboriginal girl who was in a class of 30 and was the only Native student in the class. You know, I grew a lot from that and I'm more outspoken, um, I'm not shy, I have endless opportunities and you know I've learned a lot and I guess that comes with as you grow up. I mean there's so many opportunities once you get into medicine, um, not only with schooling, but just traveling, um, getting to participate in a lot of events, um, getting to know a lot of people, um, and job opportunities are not a problem. Like you could work anywhere as you want to work and that was one of the things that I was looking at was I want a job where I don't have to be fighting for a job. I want people to come to me and say, I want you to work for me. First couple years I want to be working with someone, so probably five years from now I'll probably be at home. One of the major lessons that I learned was that nobody's smarter than me, and that's what I want to tell them, that nobody's smarter than them. I mean, all they have to do is work harder, study harder, go to school, and just try not to get too distracted by your friends and peers and what they're doing, and just be focused on what you want, because 
like I tell my daughter, she can be anything she wants and she realizes that now after seeing me go through school and that I'm going to be a doctor. For her, she has no boundaries and I think that's what I want all Aboriginal kids to feel. Thank you.